Hey collective, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I am your reader, Renetta, and this is Divine True Tarot. All right, collective, um, I just want to take time out to say thank you for your love and support that you have been giving me over the years. We are over 20,000 strong, okay? So I want to do a little something, something special for you guys um, on Halloween. So I will be announcing the details of, you know, what I want to do, maybe a giveaway or a personal reading or something like that. I don't know, but um, I do plan to go live, <laughs> okay? So, and I haven't been live on YouTube for a while. So yes, this Halloween, we will be going live and I will be taking some questions and answers. And then, yeah, I wanna do a little quick giveaway for a reading or something like that. I don't know just yet, okay? So um, stay tuned for that announce announcement in the upcoming days. But for now, Collective, I hope you're doing amazing and awesome. I just want to thank you for all of your wonderful comments when you were able to comment, all of your super chats, all of donations, your likes, your comments, and shares. Please, please, please hit that like button continuously because that helps get the messages out in the algorithms of the YouTube world, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I just wanted to announce that. All right, collectors. Please, please, please excuse the echo when I'm back in the room where I could get this message out while I'm on break at work. So, you know, excuse me. It, it is what it is, okay? So, just keep in mind that these readings are general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless. All right, collective, I want to tap into the energies of you and your person that you're in separation with. Yes, we are using... Lil B Baby, <laughs> or Little BB for short, okay? So, um, yeah, and Little BB always be getting the big brothers or the big sisters, little big sister, they can, Lil BB be needing help, she always be, or he always be calling for Big BB, so we'll see, we'll see. Something could be happening in July, K is significant. Or something happened in July. You could have broken up with your person in July. I don't know. Let's go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the to the tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will send clear and precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, and my ancestors of love and life. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you will protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to receive these messages. Woo! In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. Okay, I'm not going to take the whole bunch of the deck. I'm just going to take this one that flipped up because this is the one we see. And yes, lessons are being learned today. Your person could be confused about the lessons that they're learning or the lessons that they're going through. Karmic lessons is what I'm hearing. You know, they know how the hell, what the, what the who, what the who, what the who, Somebody head is spinning. Oh my God, these lessons, these tower moments is coming back to back to back to back. Every day or every other day is something. Okay, so your person, they could be getting hit with a karmic star. Okay, you know, everything crashing down at once. That's what I'm getting. And it's, it's happening today for some of you guys. I would say, what the, I would say within a week or up to a week. When I get that today, energy, okay? Oh, they said keep going. All right, so let's go. Holy Spirit. Oh, okay, the last, okay, they're going to kick it out. All right, cool. Because, uh, uh, I'll take it. No, they said one more. Okay. I'll take it. No, damn, they said they're going to put it on the table. All right, well, excuse me. Take it. Let's, let's go. I know, I don't know what I heard. Shoot. Uh-uh. All right, that shuffle. If they don't want to kick it out, but I know I heard they will put it on the table, so sure. That's it. Mm -mm. They keep flipping. Damn, they said keep going. I'm sorry, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> I got to do what they say, honey. Boom. What's at the bottom of the deck? Woo, family falling apart. Your person 
it could be their family members or if your person went and built in a, a family with somebody else or this could be you and your person family falling apart i don't know but um this is what they're going through right now family falling apart why okay age could be significant somebody wanted to be like you <clears throat> they didn't know what they had with you here go k okay. k i okay they fumbled your love now your person has health issues and you oh your person don't love them like they love you three 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 right here okay so again your person if they created a family outside of your connection and that family toe up and it's falling apart what is this yep they got tricked out they spot april could be significant or this could be somebody's name okay we have n first last middle initial look it stuck with the third party and that's the god honest truth one 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 could be significant i'm seeing those numbers okay S could be significant, first, last, middle, initial. So, that S is a drug head is what I'm seeing. Okay, so somebody is a drug head or dealing with one. Something could be happening in the winter or this could be somebody's name. Okay, yeah, no loyalty, no honor. Yeah, holding on to you because the mission has failed and they fell for the bullshit. So, yes, this is a collective that I'm picking up on your person. They they try to create something else somewhere else and that shit done and fucking blew up in their face. Period, point blank, bottom line. It, 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 it's, it's, yeah, that lesson is being learned today. That's what I'm getting, right? Family falling apart. What's up under family falling apart? In November? Okay. I keep telling y'all this shit going down around the holidays. Yep. X factor. That's the X. Okay, they Xing all this shit out. That lesson is being learned today. So, you know, within the next couple of weeks, I'll say two, three weeks, somebody ain't going to be with their... They, they ain't gonna be with that person they built the family with. I'm just gonna say that. Okay? Ooh, shit. Look, ancestors is on it, baby. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Ancestors are on it. Damn, they shut that shit down. Ancestors shut that shit down. <laughs> Your person got them paws put on them from the ancestors. Damn, that today. Ooh, shit. Devil coming to collect. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your person, yeah. Your person go through, going through the shits. It's not easy to get over when you collect if your person knows. That that's how they feel it. But yeah, you didn't even look back. You didn't even look back at your person. You kept it moving forward. Damn. And the more you distance yourself from your person, the more your ancestors shut that shit down, the more... Your person got their paws put on them. Now, this could be spiritually or physically here. This devil coming to collect. I, it's just making me feel they got their ass whooped in real life and in the spiritual life. Okay? Something could have, been happen, could have happened in June. Or this could be somebody's name. Yeah. Ooh, their kids don't even like your person. Damn. We have E, first, last, middle, initial. Oh, shit. Got them paws put on them. Now they on the bus to Divine University. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to the Ghetto Nun. Yes, I did. I channeled it. I wrote it out. So every time this particular energy come up, I always give a shout out to the person who coins this particular phrase right here because you damn right. Look, when that ancestor shut that shit down, you better you just believe your person got on that Divine University bus. So shout out to the Ghetto Nun. Go ahead and, and, and visit her channel. Give her some love. Give her some hearts, some likes, some shares because she be putting it down and she's in the trenches like us, okay? But yes, yes, yes. So, you know, got her got their ass whooped into submission. Mm, late night hookups, okay? So, look, sex addict, this is why. This is why they got them paws put on. And look, I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you. Little, little baby, oh yeah, always want to go get big sister, or little big sister, me. <laughs> so we got to go get BB, okay? And somebody going to jail. This could be physical or spiritual jail, okay? Child, your person is in the trenches of their bullshit. Period, point blank, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, so, little BB, booyah. Let's go get her. Let's see what she got. Now your person playing dumb. Here comes your spirit team. I told you, they getting that ass whooped today. Or whenever you see this message, it's going down in present time. Okay. 
Woo! Ancestors, shut that shit down. Don't look back. Also, too, collective, you're on that divine, uh, I mean, on that bus to divine university, too. Or you have been. Mm-hmm. You already got on that bus. Yep, your person over here wish they didn't do that shit. Oh, shit. It is. Damn. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Holy Spirit. What can you tell me? Your person over here playing dumb. But see, they was over here hooking up with people, having sex and shit, late nights. I mean, you know, they, shit. Is, you know what they show me? Somebody coming in from, late from work, talking about they work overtime. <laughs> no, damn well they got off at their regular time. And they just spent, spent a few extra hours hooking up with somebody fucking. Now they over here in total devastation. You, I bet you are. I bet you are. When the ancestors shut that shit down, they shut everything down. Damn. Well, tell me. Thank you. No more drama for you, Collector. Mm-mm. Because -mm, they shut that shit down. Shit. No more drama with this baby daddy. Okay? But they nasty ass. I told you to stay good. This one right here been fucking and sucking and everything. Nasty ass, bitter ex lover. This could be your person that you're in separation with, or your person could be fucking around with a bitter ex lover with a nasty ass because they've been hooking up at late, um, hooking up late at night, having sex with this one. Okay, so somebody has been dealing with an ex. They could be their baby daddy, or or they could have a child with this person, something like that. Yeah, but that total devastation. Mm -hmm. Ancestors shut all that shit down from them, from this bitter ex, from the baby mama or the baby daddy or anybody who was involved with your person while y'all in separation or the cause of you guys being separated. Third party karmic is their karma. This bitter ex lover your person have to deal with with a nasty ass is their karma. So if they got a child with this one, you know that's a karmic child. I'm, I, I'm just going to say what it is. And your person is so in love with you. They still in love with you is what I heard. Damn. Damn. Baby daddy drama. I can't fucking make it up. They going through all kinds of shit. Uh-huh. Because they was over here. They thought they was winning with this third party. Come to find out this third party ain't nothing but they karma. And they got baby daddy issues with their baby mama. Or vice versa. If a baby mama got issues with her baby daddy, okay? And this is how come they over here totally devastated. Damn. All right, well, then let's clarify with little, little baby then. Come on, little baby. Let's clarify. What can you tell us? Ooh, Holy Spirit not playing. I just can't make it up. Now, they say, go and put that out there right there. That's the lessons that's being learned today. So let me tell you, if your person that created a family and had a baby with somebody else, this third party, mm -mm, they broke that shit the fuck up, okay? Somebody, birthday could be in May or this could happen in May or something like that. Or somebody's name could be May. Their middle first name could be May. Something like that. Yeah. So, honey more. Yeah. What can you tell me about lessons being learned today? Holy Spirit, somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or you could be a Sagittarius, or your person, or the third party. Or something could be happening in Sagittarius season, okay? All right, what's this kicking out here? We have Cancer. Somebody could be dealing with a Cancer. This could be you or your person, or the third party. The Holy Spirit is not playing about this Cancer, or they're not playing with this Cancer, okay? Because them lessons is being learned today. Okay, that's, that's chariot energy here. Then we have Aquarius, other people. All right, so some of you guys, you could be healing from the things that other people has done in your connection. When you had closed the cycle out, you was able to move forward. I can't make it up. Cut it off. We have the star energy here, Aquarian energy. So, yeah, you cut these people out, other people, or this is what your person has done because that lesson is being learned to die because Holy Spirit not playing with them. It's making me feel like the Holy Spirit and your ancestors got together and cut out all this bullshit, especially the bullshit that was coming off of other people that is involved in your connection or involved with your person. No. <laughs> what can you tell me about uh, ancestors? Oof. They shut it down. Let's see. But, yep, yep, keep going. As soon as you kept it moving. Yep, yep, yep. Keep going. Happy feelings. Hell yeah. Keep moving forward, collective. Happy feelings. Hell yeah. Because they shut that shit down okay blessings okay because you decided 
you decided something here, okay? We have going back. So, checkmate got him. Woo. You kept going when your person was trying to come back to you. This is what I'm getting collective in. Your ancestor said no. Checkmate got him with no problem. Okay, damn. So for okay, so for some of you guys, your person did try to double back, or they're about to start trying to double back. This is why it's don't look back here. Okay, so just like your person is going back to you, you keep it moving because your ancestors are gonna shut that shit down. I don't think you want to be in the way of your ancestors when they come out and put them paws on them. You do not want to be collateral damage. This is why they say don't look back because they're bringing a hammer, baby. Okay, get your ass on this bus to Divine University, okay, and keep it moving. Because let me tell you, if your person haven't got fucked up by your ancestors yet, oh, trust and believe you me. It's a coming. And it is not going to be pretty with the got the paws put on them. I heard let out the hound dogs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You see what I'm saying? The devil coming to collect on that debt. And they getting them paws put on them. And, uh, and your ancestors shut this shit down? Let me tell you something. Your ancestors is powerful. Some of them do have held hounds. Now, yes. Uh-huh. I've seen it. Some of your ancestors are so high-ranking and so powerful. Oh, yeah. They got the keys to the chains of, of hell hounds. And them motherfuckers will obey the heavenly spirit. Hell, yeah. And they, they are able to unleash hellhounds on your person. And them hellhounds will go get them. Shit. Damn. Because everything is under the submission of God. So, you know, and when the devil comes to collect, huh? I mean, hush. I heard they couldn't wait to get your person. That's how diabolical he is. I said, ooh, I heard drag to hell. Oh, my God. What the fuck your person do? I feel an abuser here. Physically, mentally, or emotionally. And they like that shit. Especially when they know that they was hurting you fucking with this third party. Okay? they Some of them purpose back. Some of them purposely got this third party pregnant to get back at you or to make you jealous or to make you feel a certain type of way about them fucking with somebody else and creating a family somewhere else. And all you wanted to do was love them. And these motherfuckers really thought that they was going to get up and, 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 and go on about their life and they ain't got nothing to worry about. They ain't got no, no, no. Consequences and repercussions of how they shitted on somebody who just wanted to love them? Are you stupid or dumb? Who the fuck your person is? Both of them is what I heard. Both of them. This karmic third party and your person. I'm so sorry to talk about your person, but let's talk about this motherfucker right now. They both stupid and they both done thinking that they was going to be successful at hurting you and, and backstabbing and, and, and trying to make you feel like shit because they was fucking around together and they created a baby, a karmic ass child. That's, that, that I'm telling you, that karmic ass child won't give them hell. If they haven't did it since birth. This is how karma is going to come through. I'm sorry, come. If y'all like what I'm saying, I don't know what the fuck to. But yes, people's karma come through their bloodlines, through their lineage, through your kids, your grandkids, your great grandkids. Yeah. Unfortunately, they got to pay for your bullshit, especially your, your diabolical bullshit with the devil coming to collect. This motherfucker coming personally with the power getting the paws put on them and your ancestors shut it down. Hell yeah. It's almost making me feel like collective that your ancestors, I mean, you know, all of them not high vibe. We got ancestors in heaven and hell. That's just what it is. But because your bloodline done called on the dark side of the bloodline to come get it, not only did the Most High grant this, 
the devil did too. Go get them. Bring their ass back down here. Shit, what the fuck they doing? They know they supposed to be down here. Shit, you, you, you did all the hell. You belong home. Yeah, go, go tell them niggas to get their ass home. That, that part, that's how it's feeling. Everybody is agreeing to fucking your person off. And what I mean by that, either you're going to bow down to the divine or you're going to give in to, to your karma. I, that's, that's just how it's going to go. So, you know, some people, they unfortunately, unfortunately they pass away dealing with their, their karma or living in their karma. You know, and, and yeah, for some of them, hey, it's a, it's a wrap. With the sex addict, it, it, I, I, oh shit, I'm seeing um, sexually transmitted diseases that's gonna take them out. The reason why I say that, because we have nasty ass sex addict. Some of you guys, your person, they gonna call something from this third party, whoever the fuck they was fucking with, whoever they built a family with, and this is their karma. Third party karmic is their karma. Nasty ass sex addict. Some of them was prostitutes and hookers. Okay? Some of them have diseases that shit. You can't you can't you can't cure. I'm hearing, okay, I'm hearing some of them that's gonna be their downfall. When they find out they got an incurable, they're gonna go ballistic. And they're gonna do shit that take their ass to jail. They're gonna go ham on this karmic. Hell yeah. They total devastation. Hell yeah. Stats addict, late night hookups. That's a hookup. Third party is they call them. They got a hookup pregnant. That's what I'm hearing. That dude, my. <laughs> you know what they show me? You know that movie, um, Bad Boys, the first one with uh, Martin was telling uh, Will, didn't I tell you she was no hookup? <laughs> your person know that that this third party was was you know shady and shisty like that but they refused to believe that they will fuck around on them the young person thought they had it like that okay that yeah they're gonna get this hooker this sex worker yeah that, 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 i'm gonna get them to stop hooking or I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get them to stop fucking around or some old shit like that mm -mm. that third party is a fucking sex addict okay that's the reason why you like her or him whoever the fuck <laughs> Didn't I tell you she was no hooker? <laughs> so your person could have told family, friends, shit, co-workers, I don't know. Could have been going to bat for this third party. Trying to trying to uh speak on their reputation. Yeah, and shit, come to find out all that shit was true. Uh-huh. Awakening, yeah, they woke up to that fact. Okay, could be dealing with a Pisces, yeah, awakening the moon energy. Hell yeah, so something that was hidden from your person, boo y'all, they woke up to that fact. So this could have been a closet, a, a closet uh hookup. You know what I mean? One of the ones I don't mean to, I don't mean to offend, but you know people be selling pussy on only only fans. So you know, and they and that's exactly what they just show me. Not saying everybody that's on there be selling they they, they stuff. No. But everybody know that you could purchase some pussy off of OnlyFans. That's it. If they up in that shit like that, okay? So, and that's what they're showing me. Because your person could be a sex addict, okay? And, that, and you know, they got their rocks off like that. Yeah, late night hookups, yeah. Hooking up with the OnlyFans uh, creator late nights, you know? I heard they was paying. Just so they could see, see their body or whatever they do. But... Yeah, I mean, just really did some diabolical shit, and it, it's so fucked up because look at y'all person, their kids ain't gonna even like them. I'm just like, they had a kid with this karmic, and then their kids don't even like them. <laughs> I'm sorry, child. That's that ass whooping. That's that spiritual ass whooping. You know. And what and then the spiritual pause, hell yeah. This is really making me feel like they got their ass whooped spiritually and physically with the devil coming to collect. Like they getting in getting into fights at the grocery store and shit. You know, getting in fights with their neighbors and shit, getting in fights at work and shit. Hell yeah, somebody beat that ass. That's what I heard. 
That's a part of karma. This is that's for some of them. What's this keep flipping out? All right, I I'm gonna put it back because I didn't ask for it though. But ooh, love. Yeah, because they disrespected love. That's what I heard. Love. It. They want their ooh shit. They want your forgiveness. They want to come back. They want your forgiveness because of love. See, that's what I'm saying. Collective, when you when you really truly purely love somebody and they shit on you with a third party karmic, this is how you get them holes put on you spiritually and physically, especially with the devil coming to collect. So that lets me know that you have a high karmic debt that now you're going to have to pay back in this karmic year of the eight. I've been hollering that shit for damn near two years and here it go right here. Uh-huh. Somebody got their ass on the bus though. Okay. But it, it looked like shit. I don't know if they hanging on by the fingernails at the tailpipe or something. Did they really get on that bitch though? <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, because with this on the bus to Divine University and somebody's going to jail, you know, it, yeah, you on that bus once you get locked up. I'm just saying, you get your shit right once you get locked up. That's for some of them. Yeah. What well, can you tell me about put them paws on them? Got them paws put on them? Too much. Damn. I told you they got fucked up. I told you they got fucked up. Them paws too much. Some Somebody could have got beat up twice or by two different people or two different times or something. Family issues. They family could have beat their ass. I'm telling you. Or their ancestors is whooping their ass. Damn. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We have temperance energy here. Okay, so that's the 14 card. So 14 reduces down to a 5. Other people, oh yeah, they going at it. All they want is peace and balance and shit, but uh-uh. They, they, yeah, they going at it. Other people and family is, is fucking them up, and they just want this to stop. Damn, they getting into it with everybody. Damn. Damn. Everybody. Look, stop. Not now. I can't make it up. Everybody on their neck. Everybody on your person's head. Checkmate. Got them. This is how come Holy Spirit not playing. <laughs> Damn. This is how come Holy Spirit not playing. Your person is getting fucked up today. Or whenever you see this. But this today, my, my readings, when I pull on energy, it usually go up to a week Um out or a week behind. Okay, so somebody could have got fucked up last week or somebody getting fucked up next week or somebody getting fucked up today. Spiritually or physically. Damn, you might as well go ahead and throw emotionally in there too because she, I mean, you get this type of ass whooping. Damn. And it's making me really feel like it's from the both sides. Like, pop, pop. Spiritually and physically. With this devil coming to collect, what can you tell me? What can you tell me about this devil coming to collect? What's this? This narc. That's why. Yeah, just let go. What can you tell me? What we have? Just let go and ghost it, okay? And they worry, okay? So this narc could be worried that you ghosted them and you just let go. Or this this narc needs to, this person needs you just let go of these narcissistic characteristics or something like that. But this devil is coming after this narc. This is how come this ass whooping is so severe. This is how come Holy Spirit is not playing. Because a narc is not a mental issue. That's a spiritual defect. They don't have no compassion. They don't have no empathy. And the devil coming to collect on this motherfucker, that's why I said the devil couldn't wait to get your person. Yo, the devil sent their hounds to get your person. Drag their ass to hell. That's it. I will say this. Some of them do have a fighting chance only because on the, on the bus to Divine University, this could come after they get fucked up. And pay that debt back. Then they on that bus. But we have family falling apart, family issues, putting them apart. They fighting with family, baby. Or they fighting with people that they consider family. Or they th they fight fighting with people that um is their other people family. You know, like the third party, they probably getting them up and duking it out with their family. Something like that. What can you tell me about this devil coming to collect on this narc? To the point where their kids don't even like them. Damn. Playing mind games. Third party. Woo. 
So you mean to tell me this third party is that much? I told you, you have Gemini energy, lover's energy, the one they chose, this third party, playing mind games. So yes, this third party family is also too fucking your person up, putting them apart. They got into a physical fight with their family. This group I'm picking up on, either they did it last week, this week, or next week. This is how it comes. Some of them could be going to jail because they fight. Or they got into a fight or something like that. Somebody going to jail, either this third party farm family, other people, or, or your person. But this is physical violence I'm picking up on. All because this third party, that is the karma for your person is playing all kind of mind games. Mind games, third party, this North, hell yeah. Because that's the shit that they was doing to you. They was fucking with this third party, playing mind games with you because they wanted to get back at you because they were to feel or uh, fulfill a narcissistic craving or uh, supply or a, a craving that they had because they wanted control. They wanted to see you hurt. They wanted to, to be on top or some old shit like that. Why is up they over here? It's not easy to get over you. No, no, not with your ancestors got their foot on their neck. And I want I must say, some of your ancestors showed up in the physical to fuck your person up mentally with the mind games. Some of you guys, your ancestors is playing mind games with this narc about this third party. That's how the devil coming to collect. And what they showing me is like they waking up in the middle of the night and they see this big dark figure hovering over their bed looking dead at them. What the fuck you gonna do type shit? Are they in the corner and all they hear is a whole bunch of growling and snarling and they, they can't go to sleep. They can't turn the lights off. They, this is how your person getting fucked up. Especially spiritually. You know what they showing me too? Your person get in the car and they look in the rear view mirror and they swear to God somebody is in the back. Damn near crash their car. Or they get out and run out the motherfucker or something like that. That's why I said your ancestor had the keys to hell bounds to come and fuck your person up. They always have an uneasy, not easy to get over you. They always have an uneasy energy or an uneasy way about themselves because they scared. They can't go to sleep. They don't want to be alone. They hate the dark. Oh, yeah, because every time they're by themselves, they're not. Every time it's quiet, it's not. This is how your person getting fucked off. Damn. Well, hell. Yeah. But can you tell me about, well, we know it ain't easy getting over you, and you not looking back, and she think kids don't even like them. What can you tell me about this Divine University bus? It, oh, yeah, and then I'm going to look out and see what happened in June. What, what's this Divine University bus? It's also, too, making me feel like all is well. Look, it's making me not now. Damn. All is well, but not right now. Too many setbacks. It's too late to get on the bus. That's why I said it feels like they was hanging on the tailpipe by the fingernails. This one refused to be left behind. Somebody is fighting for their soul right now. All is well. Too many setbacks. Not, all, not now. So it ain't well with your person getting on this bus right now. It's too fucking late. Divine Union. Damn. Damn. They, it ain't no way. They got to go through to get through it. This how come this debt will be paid in full. Your person, they done missed the bus. They done missed their, their chance and their opportunity to get it right with you and the Most High God. Because of what they've done to you. Yes. This is how come you're not looking back. This is how come you keep moving forward. This could have happened in June. Okay. For some of you guys, your person... Your per if you have children with your person, your children don't even like their their dad or their mom. But we got baby daddy drama, so you know I'm pulling on the masculine energies. These group of masculines ain't waking the fuck up, or if they did, it, it's, it's too motherfucking late. 
They did so much diabolical shit against you and love and, 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 and fucking with these third parties and shit. Third parties could be not only romantic, but it could be family. It could be coworkers. It could be friends. It could be neighbors, whatever the fuck who is outside of y'all connection together. That your person paid a lot more time or given a lot more time, energy, and effort to, and then disrespected you and shitted on you. They could have been always mad at you, cussing you out, shit. Like I said, they could have been physically violent, mentally violent, or emotionally violent, violent towards you. That's that diabolical bullshit. Keeping you in fear, worry, anxiety, and they got their rocks off off of that. This is what the fuck you get. We have happy home and divine union. It's too late for that. It's too late. You moved, moved away. I heard they got removed. Oh, shit. Yep, this devil energy, Capricorn energy. Get your ass out of here. Because it's, it's, it's time for you to heal. This, you had to be, this person had to be removed out of your energies in order for you to heal. And divine time, you see? You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, somebody wondering some old shit. Uh huh. Do you boo? So they was wondering if they could heal things with you. You was like, no. Do you boo? Yep. It's another man or a masculine energy here. Ah shit. Ah shit. The angel message <laughs> could be dealing with a Leo, or it could have happened in Leo season. I think Leo season is um no, that's July. Yeah. So yeah, just do it. So some of you guys could be me a Leo, or you could be a Leo. Yep. Wishing and hoping, and then I have our wish. Just do it. So somebody just wish that you'll talk to them. Separate now. So somebody, yeah, don't do this. Somebody wishing that you don't nope, separate now. They don't, yeah, Taurus, Empress Energy. So somebody's wishing that a Taurus wouldn't separate their from their energies now, something like that. But this is a karmic cycle that they're in, and they over here talking shit, something like that. I hope I got that all right. Okay, let's go. What can you tell me about June? What's going on? in June. Happy home. So yeah, this could have went down in June for some of you guys. Okay. That's, yeah, or all of this could have started in June or you could have found out the bullshit in June. Something like that. We have happy home and Gemini energy, which is the lover's energy. So, oh, some of you guys probably had met a new love in June. This is what I'm getting. Oh, that's facts. Yep, you went ahead and did that. Oh, okay. Maybe that's facts. So some of you guys could have met somebody or started another connection in June, something like that. What can you tell me about this happy home? We have karmic cycle out of time. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. This karmic cycle that you was in with your person, booyah, gone, moved away. You out of a karmic cycle collective because you made the right decision in June. Yeah, yeah. You make the right decision to love on yourself. You make the right decision to move away from people that didn't love you back. Yeah, yeah. Or somebody name could be June, first to last name. That's good. What can you tell me about this late night hookup? Too young. Oh shit. So somebody did something too soon, or this late night hookup was too young. Okay, and when I get too young, it's a big age gap is what I'm getting between your person and this third party. Yeah, and then look, somebody gave it up now, now. <laughs> so your person, look, because look, it, your ancestors shut that shit down. So your person had to give up that, that, yank, that late night hookup with that young thing right there. Now, now, okay, give me that. <laughs> Yes, for some of you guys, the third party or one of the third parties is what I heard. Yeah, your person pissed off too. They got snatched the fuck up out your person's energy and presence. Yep, your person got stripped of the third party too. That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. That's for some of them. You know what I mean? Because it's feeling that it's feeling like trigger warning, but it's feeling like your person was really having fun, really enjoying you know, their time that they was having with this third party now, all of a sudden, poof, one day is over, gone, done, bye, out. Yep, your person over here pissed off and they wish they could still fuck with this third party because your person is a sex addict. So, you know, this third party, especially if they were younger than your person, yeah, they fed their sex demon. And now the devil coming to collect. 
This is why I said I got that big ass energy of somebody having an STD that they have to deal with that they can't give back. And there's no looking back because whoever gave it to them, they gone out. And your person just sitting here stuck. What can you say about the sex addict? The sex addict done let go. <laughs> I can't make this up. Okay, let go with hermit on your person. That's a part of their karma. This is hermit energy, Virgo energy. They could be dealing with a Virgo. This sex addict could have be been a Virgo. But yeah, yep, they stopped. They stopped. Shit, next week, some of you guys, I'm telling you, some of, the, some of you guys are going to be having next week, or going to be having now, or it happened last week. But yeah, that, that connection, it stopped. With that sex addict, they can't get none no more. <laughs> that sex addict ghosted. So yeah, that third party done ghosted your person. Do you, boo? I can't make it up. <laughs> your person over here pissed off. Do you, boo? Yeah, they know it's a mistake now. Because they done lost you, they done lost this third party. So, you mean to tell me, collective, <laughs> that your person, they lost you and this third party. Both of you guys walked away from your person. That will make me feel like a big pound doo doo mistake. Divine union. Mm, mm, mm. This is also, too, you walking away from your person because of the mistakes that they made. Yep. Spirit is talking. That's what I'm getting. Yep. You let go of this sex addict. You went into hermit energy with this sex addict because you had to go inside yourself to find yourself about why the fuck you even fucking with this sex addict. You had to stop. So as soon as you knew that your person was out here fucking around and, 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 and doing it with this one and that one, you gave it up immediately. <laughs> your ancestors was on your head. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it and you did Good job. Good job, collector. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about somebody's going to jail? What can you tell me about this jail? And then I'm going to get the other day. We're going to clarify um, BB. Okay. Okay. Just do this to some, something that somebody has done. Put them in jail. Why you over here loving on yourself? What what is this just doing? What did they just do? They mad, man. Oh, they lost. Wasting time. So somebody is mad because they wasted your time. So that puts them in jail. Hell yeah, wasting your time doing this bullshit. Yep, they lost out. Wasting time. They mad, man. They think I put it. Spiritual or and physical jail. Yeah. Now they over here hoping, wishing, and praying that they can run away from all the bullshit that they have created. But it's like, no. Bad karma. Okay? You're going to have to pay this debt back in full and the devil is coming to collect. If his motherfucking ass ain't already here. Yep. Bad karma. They want to get out. They want to get out of the situation that they put themselves in. But it's like, no, boo-boo. You're going to have to boss up. You're going to have to take it up to Pista with no Vaseline. I'm just saying. I know it. Uh -huh. But that's how you was trying to fuck over the divine feeling. Or the connector. With no Vaseline, you didn't give a shit. And so, <clears throat> your turn. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Your turn. So, you know, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What can you tell me about, okay, um, okay, baby daddy, no more drama. What can you tell me about this total devastation? Clarify total devastation. Sacred union, experiencing new things. Oh, so your person is totally devastated that you have new love coming in. Is that what I'm getting? Are you going towards another union, experiencing new things, traveling? Some of you guys will be going out of town, overseas. What can you tell me about total devastation? What can you tell me about total devastation, Holy Spirit? Whoa, twin flame. Healing heart. Wow. Happily single. Your person is totally devastated that you're living your life, healing your heart, 
could be going towards a twin flame connection. Oh, they ass do get replaced. If you're, if, it, if I'm talking about your, tr your true twin and they don't, they fall from grace and they don't ascend on the journey. When the most high will hook you up with another person that's in the twin flame union that their twin did the same thing and bring y'all two together and y'all divine counterparts. Okay. If not, if y'all not flaming up together, I mean, cause I don't put nothing past the most high God, but people say, Oh, you only have one twin, one twin. You can only have one twin. Who the fuck said that? Really? Who the fuck said that? So you mean to tell me that I have to put limitations on what my most high God, my Abba could do? And he not created the whole damn universe? But he can't put you with another twin legitly? Get the fuck out of here. Let's go. I'm just saying. The people that get stuck on that, you only got one twin. You only got one twin. Man, fuck that. You don't know what kind of God we serve, man. He can do what the fuck he want. That's right. So, they told me they devastated that you're healing your heart. Yeah, and you're not codependent. And you're ascending. Ooh. I mean, this is like, you left them behind. And they just like, they can't take it no more. Uh-uh. You go up to a faded meeting, an important connection. I told you. I told you. Look, run it. <laughs> so you guys are running from your person to go towards this more important connection. Okay? Because, yeah, it's safety and comfortability over there. So they totally devastated that you're healing your heart. You're sending past this bullshit that they try to make you a part of. What, and, and, and you're leaving your twin behind. What can you tell me about this twin flame? Let's clarify that. I want to see. Shape shifting in the reverse. Okay? Not today. Baby, you are not changing your mind. Reconciliation. You're not reconciling or rebuilding with this twin. No. Okay? This snake in the reverse, this mimicking, no. You do y'all are equally yoked. This twin done fell from grace because of all of this diabolical bullshit that they have done against you and the connection that they have with you. This is how come Holy Spirit not playing. This is how come the third party. Uh, the devil is coming to collect because of the third party, excuse me. But yeah, and this is how come your, your person is sitting in checkmate. This is how come your ancestors came and shut this shit down. It's making me feel like collective, either you were naive to the bullshit or you didn't want to let go of your person despite of the bullshit, something like that. But this twin got ripped away from you. Like just... All of a sudden, cold cut off. Here, Holy Spirit not playing cut off. I can't make it up with the chariot energy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And it had to hurt so you wouldn't fuck with them no more. <coughs> it had to be harsh so you could see the true colors of who he was dealing with. And you wouldn't want to fuck with them no more. So they ain't got to worry about you going back and forth, flip flopping on whether you want to fuck with them some more. Jesus, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, <coughs> but that's what happened. And that's why it hurt so much. And that's why it had to be so diabolical. I'm sorry. That's how come they let your person do all of this. And it was just building up, building up, building up, building up, building up until where the most I said, okay, enough. It's enough bullshit that she or he will let this person go and, and put all the facts right in front of your face where you couldn't deny, you couldn't question everything that this motherfucker was doing or have done. So you can let go and you can heal. Okay? What can you tell me about this bitter ex-lover? What, what about this nasty ass bitter ex-lover that's a, that's a karmic, third party karmic? No person karma too. What about this bitter ex-lover? Oh, something happened unexpectedly. Oh, shit. The truth came out about this twin flame connection with you. Here we go with the twins again. But what I'm getting to, the truth came out about 
this nasty ass bitter ex-lover here. So you mean to tell me that this unexpected change about some honesty and truth about a twin flame union is making me feel like this bitter ex-lover that's a nasty ass is your person. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Yep. Twin flame backstabbing and heartbroken. I can't make it up. Your twin is heartbroken because they fucking backstabbed you while y'all was in the divine connection. That's they nasty ass. That's why they over here sitting in total devastation. Okay? Yeah, because they ass got cut down and got cut the fuck off. Along with these friends that they was fucking over you with. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Now they running. So these friends could have run away from your person or your person trying to run away and cut out these friends because they was influenced by their friends to even do all this bullshit behind your back. Okay? So, if, yeah, so that's making me feel like your person is easily influenced. They ain't, got a, they ain't got a backbone or a mind to even think of things of their own or even stand up to their friends to not be uh, influenced or, or, or swayed by their friends or something like that. So, this is a spineless motherfucker right here. This is a people pleaser. Your person was a people pleaser, okay? I'm going to talk shit all up. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to talk shit about them. Because of all of this up here, where your ancestors have to shut that shit down, and then they got to put them paws put on them, and then they got to let the devil come and collect on that debt. Shit. Your person ain't shit. Romantic feelings, heartbroken. Yeah, now they feeling romantic about you because they heartbroken. They want this unconditional love with you. Man, now they want to give and receive this. And it's too fucking late. Yeah, you, you gonna sit in that. Look at third party right here. Yeah, the truth that came out about the third party. That's what I just said. Yeah, truth that came out about this third party here. Okay, about them having hookups and one night stands and shit. So just like your person was hooking up with this third party, fucking and having one night stands with them and other people, this same shit happened to your person. And it's making me really feel like this happened to their number one choice of the third party that they wanted to fuck with. Okay, now I'm getting the heartbreak, not only losing you, but losing this third party that dumped their ass too. Damn. That's why they all, now they so in love with you and shit. Because the truth about who you are to them and who you are to God is here. What can you tell me about so in love with you? Why? Why is the collector's person so in love? Because you bring peace. You bring peace. Yeah, and they want to talk to you about it. Bring peace of mind is what I heard. Yeah, time to heal. They, I heard some of them, they need, they, they need your help to heal. I picked up on this energy yesterday, but they are doing shadow work, okay? They also, too, learning how to love themselves. So not only are they so in love with you, but they're learning how to love themselves, too, to get up out of this bullshit that they have been in. Okay. Yeah. This is how, but you know, they have a long way to go. Your person have a long way to go because they still have karmic ties with this karmic cycle with this third party that is their karma. So until they pay that debt back that is coming through this third party, especially if they have a child, this karmic cycle could last for at least 18 years. This is how diabolical your person is. This is how time I said that child that they have with this karmic, that's their karma too. That child gonna be hell on wheels. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Wow. Let's get some tarot. Let's get some tarot. Let's see how the collective is feeling about that person. I picked up the deck. We have the Ace of Wands looking at me. So you have a passion in new beginnings. I heard elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Okay, some of you got in the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So I'm getting some of you guys. Y'all might... I might be interested after they done went through all, all of this because they'd be on that bus to Divine University and they need help healing. Some of you guys are going to help your person heal. But you know, that's what a divine being do anyway. Okay? Because when you get to a point where you don't have an emotional or a mental reaction, negative reaction to your person even being in your presence, let alone needing your help to heal, 
that's when you are, yeah, that's when you know that you have elevated past and you have healed from all of the devastating or the devastation that your person had left you in. And some of you guys, your person left you totally devastated. Okay? Some of you guys, you could have been the bitter ex-lover. Okay? And this is how kind of most high God had to come in and, and really put the hammer down on your person because of the hurt that, that they left you in. Okay, it's almost like giving you some get back energy here. Now I kind of help you with your healing because you knew that or you started to feel that, you know, uh, uh, they're not going to get away with leaving you devastated like that. Your ancestors have to show you that God loves you and that there is a, a, a cause and effect when you really shit on love. Okay. You have the sun, and that is the truth. The eight of pentacles, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you have the sun, eight of pentacles, and the emperor. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I can't make this up. After they done did all this seven of, war, seven of swords bullshit, you're still willing to help work with your person or to help your person get in their emperor energy. Could be dealing with a Leo or Aries, heavy fire energy here. Even after they did this seven of swords bullshit, to help them move forward, six of swords, to their new beginning, full energy. Okay. But let's see. Holy Spirit. What is the current energies of the collective towards their person? I'm going to see how you feel. <laughs> Child, you <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Okay, we have the devil and the nine cups and the nine of pentacles here. So this is making me feel as though, you know, it's, it's still love here. Um, you could be, I'm getting prayers here, but it's, this is almost like you hate that you still love them. <laughs> or you hate that you have love for them right now. This is what I'm getting, yeah. And you're not, you don't really want to move forward towards your person because you're, 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 you're in the energies of creating your own home, you know, starting your own business, looking at tickets to your own garden. But, you know, there is love there, but you're not showing it. Okay, but some of you guys are sitting waiting to see if you even could or even if they would reach out to you when it comes to some type of communication or something like that. Um, but yeah, you're not moving forward towards them and if you, shit, because you, you dodged the bullet. We have the chariot in reverse with the tower in reverse. This is how come you know you dodged the bullet when you not, how should I say, you know you dodged the bullet when you're not fucking with it. You knew you dodged a bullet when you didn't go towards them. You knew you dodged a bullet when you ran away from them. Yeah. And you've been divinely guided to do that. Hermit energy. Look at them. Tell you something. You made no bones about it. You made no bones about it. You was loud with that. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. I do not want to work with you. I do not want to create with you. I do not want to do anything with you. Four of Pentacles. You're holding back because you have wisdom here, baby. Your crown chakra has a lot of knowledge about what it is that is going to come up ahead or what is going to come out of you reconnecting with your person. You've been divinely guided, like I said. There's other things that's coming in that you know is um, on its way. The three of wands here. Okay, three of wands to what? The five of wands? Yeah, it could be a little impatient <laughs> for new things to come in because it's taking a while. That's what I'm getting, but you, you just absolutely refuse not to go backwards. This, don't look back. That's you. You will not look back to the past, but some of you guys, you're, you're getting a little antsy of waiting on what's to come in the future because it's like, damn, it should be here already, but you know that's not how God works. You know you gotta wait till he click clack things in the background to work out in your favor. I heard just wait a little longer. Just wait a little longer. Wait a little longer. Wait a little longer. Wait a little longer. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, how does the collective person feel about the collective at the current moment or when they watch this video? Okay, so this came out of the challenge position. What is this? The nine of pentacles in the challenge position. And we also have the six of pentacles in the challenge position. I heard, please don't go. They do not. They don't know what to do with you. 
No, the Nine of Pentacles being in the challenge position is made, making me feel they don't know if they want to stay and they don't want to let go. They don't know if they want to fight for this or they don't know if they just want to fall back. Uh -uh. Six of Pentacles in the challenge position here. Yeah, they don't know. They're very off balanced here. Yeah, I can't make it up. Can't fucking make it up. But the Two of Pentacles and the Temperance, you see what I'm saying? They're making head over heart decisions as to how to get rebalanced within their self and also too within their physical life, their 3D life, because they, they, they just, it's a swirly all over the place energy here. Yeah. Some of them are being divinely guided is what I'm getting, but they don't know what to do. It's swirly, swirly. Yeah. King of Swords and the Seven of Swords, very calculated here. This one right here is very calculated because they're so off balanced here. They don't know what to do, baby. They don't know what to do. Okay, how they don't know what to do with you is what I heard. Okay, so what is the intentions of the collective's person towards the collective? What is the intentions of the collective's person towards the collective? We have Ten of Wands and the Three of Cups. They want to come back in and reunite Emperor Energy to show you that they, they can be the uh, in their 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 divine energy. Okay, they want to show you that they can't handle all of the burdens and the pressures that they put upon you. They want to relieve the stress is what I'm hearing. They want to come and celebrate with you. They want to have good times and tidings with you. But they want to relieve these burdens because, baby, they could balance all this shit. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, what can you say about Nintendo Wands? Thank you. Yep, Justice. Okay, make it up. The Nine of Wands, they want to come and help. They want to come and help you. They want to come and balance you out. They want to come and make sure that you get your justice. They want to balance your scales. They will unbalance all they shit to come and balance you out. Damn. This could be impulsively. Yeah, nine of pentacles and nine of wands. So start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. It could be because, you know, there could be a little intimidation with the queen of wands here. You know, the queen and the nine of wands, that's no match. You know what I mean? It's like they feel a little bit... um intimidated by you okay so this is how come we have that start stop start stop energy but they want to come in solid they want to come in balance they want to come in because they're infatuated is what i'm getting um what's behind the queen of wands yeah the page of swords i can't make it up they keep constantly looking at you uh-huh in the 5d wishing hoping and praying and the swords i can't make it up you stay in their head because you're so beautiful you're so confident you're so alluring you're so you're so Magnifique. <laughs> I don't know why. Somebody could be French or somebody could speak French or something like that, but I heard magnifique. <laughs> so I guess that's what magnificent. Yeah, man, yeah, it is magnificent. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for telling me that. Okay, well, shit. Why why are they wanting to rush in now? They really want to rush in, but they stop their self from doing that. And it's because they don't know how with this nine of pentacles and this six of pentacles and this challenge with position. They don't know how or if what they come in with is even enough to bring justice or balance to the connection with you. They're very burdened and stressed about not knowing what to do to, I heard, balance you out, balance everything. That's the God on the truth. With the empress, I can't make it up. And then we have the will of fortune speaking out. Let me tell you something. Things are changing in divine timing, baby. With this empress, oh yeah, you will have victory and success. The truth will come in. Uh, with this masculine here. He just have to get his shit together. But for some of you guys, it's too late. And the reason why it's too late, because you said it's too late. So most of said, well, I guess it's too late. <laughs> I'm serious. Your person want to come and tell you the truth. They want to come and just have a brand new beginning with you, a clean slate with you. They're waiting on divine time and the star energy, healing energy, Aquarian energy, the Queen of Cups energy. So your person is also too spiritually enlightened about you. Or this is how they're viewing you. Okay? Wow. With this Justice Libra energy here and the Nine of Pentacles, they, look, let me tell you something. They don't give a damn how long it's going to take to bring you justice. They don't give a damn how long it's going to take to balance these scales out with you, to balance you out. This is a big-ass apology that I'm feeling. I don't have the page of um, cups out here, but I don't need the page of cups out here because I, I see this energy. With this justice in the Nine of Pentacles, hell yeah, they want to make it right. This justice in the Nine of Pentacles ain't nothing but an apology. 
but putting you in a third party situation for juggling you, for causing burdens upon you. It's the source of the magician. They want to manifest this brand new beginning with you. Four of Swords, they want to heal it. They've been thinking about this for a very long time. And they've been divinely guided to do so, to tell the truth, to, to come in and, and offer you a balance in your emotions and your mental because of what they have done to you. Okay? All right, so what's coming in for the collective and their person? Let's get these. Oh, oops, I stopped it on the Seven of Cups. So it could be some kind of confusion, some type of miscommunication. You know, not knowing where each other stand emotionally, not knowing if you could actually fully trust the other person. That's what I'm getting. That's for some of y'all is. Okay. So what's up, man? Holy Spirit. Let's see. Not today. Butterfly effect. Not today. <laughs> Healing the inner child growth. Not today. A person not doing the work. Or they shit. They haven't got to that point where they are on that path to heal and put in the effort that they need to in order to come back towards you, healed and whole. Okay, what's coming in? Thank you. We have paradise. We have happiness, compassion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So, yeah, somebody is thinking about how the good times, look, I'll do a cassette and twin flame. I'm going to make it up. And here go the twin flame energy again. But, yeah, um, somebody is thinking about how they could come and, you know, have this blissful time together with you. How to have a, um, I want to say, a, a harmonious time with you. Just to, you, I want to say, what is it? Um, like it used to be. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I couldn't get it out. But, yeah, somebody, they feel like they're in over their head that they can have this with you, with their twin. Okay? Yeah. They, they, they still need time to heal. Okay, or you still need time to heal to even want to reconnect with your person, yeah, because this is an empath and a narcissist di uh, paradigm. So, like, again, like I said, your person was diabolical towards you, and, and you still need time to heal and focus on self. Okay, you're ascending here, okay, and your person is over here missing you because they ran away from the connection now they want a um, higher level commitment with you because they over here heartbroken because they know that they really really like you i like you soulmate uh, soulmates and that's the god honest truth so your person was probably pretending that they wasn't even into you as much as they were until after you done left and you done pulled your energies back and then pause got put on them about who the fuck you were and then it's like they had to be beaten into an awakening. Like, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, because you was looking at the connection from some low vibe and diabolical bullshit. So collective, you know, your person could have been looked at you like you wasn't fun enough. You wasn't uh, toxic enough. You wasn't karmic enough to fuck with them. Now this diabolical bullshit to where the devil have to come and collect on that ass. You a karmic like a motherfucker. So they didn't see your worth. They didn't see your value because it was too low vibrational, especially if they was getting with karmic third parties and they was doing their low vibrational bonding and, you know, interactions with each other. They didn't see you for who you are. And sometimes, a lot of times, the most high God will cloak you. So they can't see who you are because they want to see how they really, the most high God is want to test them and they want to see how they really feel about them if they don't see the beauty and the God in you. How do they really feel? Is he going to try to help you? Is they going to try to help, make you, you know, make you become a better person? Or are they going to try to help heal you or something like that? No, they shitted on you. They shitted on you because they felt that you wasn't good enough, pretty enough, had enough money, something like that. And they wanted to fuck around over here with this nasty ass karmic here. So it's making me feel like it wasn't, it was too much sexual energies that they were operating in, but they didn't see the fulfillment of those sexual energies with you. Not with this late night hookups and this sex addict right here while he, they in a divine union. They know that was a fucking mistake. Okay? Yeah. We have love here. They want to rebuild what they sabotage. They want to heal this. They want to heal their heart. They want to heal your heart. This is what's coming in, your person. That's so, okay, for some of them that ain't going to get dragged to hell or they feel like they're going to go to hell and back. 
you know, get, get their ass whooped and then, you know, get released on the program or some old shit. They, they, I mean, they coming back full force, really, truly, fully healed. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, healing heart. I'm telling you, your person is going through the change if they're willing to do it. Some of them, they not because they still codependent and obsessed and controlling. It has a, it has a block. you are restraining your, themselves from their emotions. Those are the ones that's going to get dragged to hell. But the ones that is um, making that change, yeah, they're going to call you. They want to talk to you. They want to have a conversation with you. You will get a message, a message of love, thinking about you over and over and over again is what I heard. We have this hovering energy. So some of them, they're either, uh, what you call it, um, suspended in suspense, or they, they haven't really make that decision to reach out and call you not just yet they hovering around the idea to do so okay but some of them is not going to call you until they have stability security until they had growth and flexibility to even come towards you okay um for some of them they're being very strategic they're not really showing you or taking a gamble on you because they're still trying to figure out what to do with you, like I said. But once they do that, they will start chasing the connection. Um, for some of them, they're running away from a codependent energy. Or when they car, once they start coming towards you, unfortunately, they have somebody that's going to be chasing after them too. Okay, and this could be somebody that they partner up with, somebody that they came into some type of union or connection with. And yeah, they left. They moved on from this connection. They Now they have closure issues. It makes me feel like this third party don't want to be let go of, but they're not that damn relevant in the energies that I'm picking up right now. So your person is moving further, further, further away from this third party. Or, 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 your person, self-absorbed narcissist. Or they stand with that motherfucker. I can't even get it out of my mouth. Okay, so if they stand with that third party, then they're going to naturally be removed from you. Because y'all know y'all not on the same level, so you know it's like this third party that's outside of your connection. They ain't gonna show up anyway, not energetically, because they are non factor. Because your person and you are that far apart energetically. Okay, so well, collective, I'm gonna leave it right here. Then this has been a really good read, really interesting. Um, unfortunately, your person will have to go through it to get through it because they did a whole bunch of dollar about for bullshit against you and love. So um, pray for your person, and if you have children by your person, I, I would say let them go through their bullshit by themselves because, like, again, these paws that's getting put on them, your ancestors do not be a casualty of war, okay? So don't have sex with your person, and I'm, this is my advice. I can't tell you what to do, but my advice is any type of sexual contact with your person, it will be totally devastating to you because you're fucking with a sex addict and total devastation and bitter ex-lover and shit like that. And I already picked up on that STD energy and I'm talking about sexual transmitted disease. Okay, so you might want to be highly careful, especially in this karmic year, this karmic cycle that we are in the year of the eight. I will wait till January 1st if you just gotta have it. Okay. <laughs> all right, so, but I don't give my advice, I just give opinions. So, all right, collective, I'm gonna leave it right here. This is what I have for you. If any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.